All-Star Games might be all about fun, but one of the ones Friday at the CYO was played like a championship was on the line. I'm Mark Fontes with Sports. The CBC's best high school seniors in basketball came together for one last hurrah Friday night at the South Broad Street CYO building. The girls' game was put out of reach early, while the boys put on a barn burner. 46 players from 19 schools coming together for this 13th annual Mercer County All-Star Tournament. Marquesia Blue Aiken of TCA hitting a tray, wiping her hands off. That ball passes through a lot of sweaty, oily palms. Alexis Johnson of Hamilton West, who had a banner year here, marching into the lane and banking it off the glass. For the gray team, Carrie McNeely of West Windsor North connecting with Villa Victoria's Brianna Shepard. That's in there from downtown. Red back with it, Kelly Shilliber of Lawrence to TCA's Kelchi Oak Para. That's good. The gray had some TCA, too, like Robin Perkins, who hooks up with McNeely. She's on point from right on the line. Later, some Hopewell-Pennington rivalry in this all-star contest. Nicole Baxter steals it right away from Hoval's Kelly Williams. Both these ladies, three sport athletes, but here it's Baxter who comes out on top. Williams did not take that. She fought right back here, finding her way around Baxter and others, and she takes it to the hole, making fans there that night very proud. The dog pound would have been very proud of both their Hopewell ladies. Here's Emily Sing, 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 Sing. 15-point lead for Red at the half. Does Dozens of points on this night scored by TCA Lady Mikes. There's Robin Perkins with a deuce. Jackie Mullen of the Hun School hooking up with teammate Ashley Ravelli, who adds two. Reds lead 19 by midway through the fourth quarter. Blue Aiken, who tallied 28 points and a load of assists like this one to Jenna Marcus of Heightstown, was chosen the game's most valuable player. This was one of her final baskets. 108-94, your score afterwards. Blue presented with the MVP trophy by the CYO's Tom Melodnitz. It was a great game. We came out here, we played hard, we had fun. You know, it was great to come out here and play my last game and win. The boys' game was right after Steinert's Ryan Lamarck dishing it to Ryan Witter of West Windsor South. Witter nails it. Robbinsville's Mike Williams across the arc to Tracy Edwards of the Emily Fisher Charter School. He hits a three. More TCA greatness. Nate King into the paint. Shoots. It doesn't go, but there's Ewing's unmistakable David Azoro turning two out of it. The Petty Falcons had two of their men in this game, like Zach Vigno, who tallies a big assist here. Blue controlled this game most of the way. They led by seven at the half. Early third quarter, Witter from downtown grabs his own miss. Then he misses on the connection. Lawrence's Bobby Brackett picks it off, sets up Vigno, who heads all the way down and banks it nicely. Heightstown's Ryan Borden to Lamarca. The man Steiner alum Mark Janello once said was the best point guard in the CBC. He draws a foul, and that bucket counts, of course. Azoro with it. He allows Blue to take it away again. Vigno grabbing a lot of steals. Alley-oop attempt. That's to Petty Xavier Harris, who celebrates somewhat discreetly. Azoro here going from goat to hero. That's a tray. His head coach, Shelly Dearden, very proud of him. This pass, Borden to Borden. Great way to maintain possession. And Borden records the basket. One of the reasons he was selected for this game. A two-point white lead at the end of three quarters. Anyone's contest. Harris here to bracket. The Lawrence Cardinal led everyone on his team with 16 points. On defense, Bracken rejects Ewing's Taekwon Cruz. Another huge play for the boys in navy blue. Nate King, though, showed them who's boss on the following drive. He reaches the basket and again hits it. Long story short, 16 and a half seconds to go. White up by one point. Azoro to King. Two-man inbound. It's thrown in. Picked off by Bracken. He heads into the paint. Xavier Harris slam dunk. Blue goes ahead by one. Clock ticking inside of 10 seconds to play. 9-8. Azora with the ball. He loses it. There's a scramble for it. As time expires, Blue holds on for a ferocious one-point win. Brackett was chosen the game's most valuable player. Ewing High coach Shelley Dearden was there to present those honors. They tried to do a double inbound, take the man out of bounds, and we were basically waiting for him to throw that pass across the lane. Bobby intercepted it and dropped it off to me. First three quarters, we know we played to have fun. Fourth quarter, coach said we gotta come out and win, so dribble press, we gotta see on a dump to finish it. It was fun. And these fun highlights from the 13th annual CYL All-Star Games brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems, a full-line computer sales and service center, your business solutions headquarters, Prior NAMI. Petty's boys basketball team, despite a mediocre season, was well represented by Xavier Harris and his game-changing play. That makes the Falcons our Prior NAMI Team of the Day. That's all for sports on this Monday. In a moment, one of the legends of women's professional sports joins us for Mercer County Close-Up. Stay tuned.